design with me as I take you through the step-by-step -step process of how to create this Halloween animation. And you'll notice it's a little bit different. I haven't got lots and lots of different pages with transitions. This is all created as in a single frame, single page. And instead, what I am going to take advantage of is the show timings feature. As you can see in here, we have lots and lots of different elements appearing for shorter time frames than the actual page length is, and this is the secret to creating this animation. Now, first of all, I'm going to bring in this purple starry night sky background, and if I click on the three wee dots, it will search through night landscape background. So if you search for that within the elements, you'll find lots and lots of different backgrounds there. And I'm going to enlarge it so that it is the full size of the page. But you'll see that it also gives me this wide time frame to allow me to create the motion animation that we need. So this is why it's important to still search for a landscape format image. Once the image is in place, I am going to go up to animate and this time I'm going to go to create an animation and I'm just going to hold down my shift button and I'm going to drag it in a line until I get to near the end. Now I've actually went too far this time so I don't want to see the edge of the page. I'm going to delete that path and just do it again. This time stopping just before I think it's going to get to the end of the page. And it's it's moving in a kind of jerky motion at the moment because it's not quite a smooth path. You can change that by just clicking on movement styles and go down to steady. And this time you can see it's a nice steady path. I can also change the speed if I wanted to go a little bit slower, which I am going to do because it was going a little bit fast. And I don't want this to be kind of really fast flowing. I just want it to be subtly moving in the background. So I've reduced that speed and then just click done once I'm happy with it. And then I'm going to add in the graveyard scene. And again, the one I've selected here is I've searched Halloween graveyard landscape background and it's given me lots of different options. And this is one I've decided to choose. And we're just going to enlarge this to the full size of the screen. Bring it along to the far left hand side again so I can create that slow motion movement from left to right. So again we go back up to animate, create an animation and again we're going to hold down shift and this is so it stays in a perfectly straight line. We don't want it to move up and down the way and you can see that my drag movement hasn't been quite steady so we're going to go into movement styles steady that up and it's just moving at a nice slow speed we can speed that up but it's going far too fast so we're going to keep it nice and slow and click done and that has now got our moving background now we can start adding in all of the different elements and build up the full animation design I'm just going to make this 10 seconds in length so that we have enough time to have all of the different animations moving in and out of the animation and I'm going to add our ghostly ghost, our dark ghost and again if you want to know the information on the element it's black ghost figure. Now this one I wanted to do two different things. I wanted to quickly appear onto the page and then shoot off up into the sky. So First of all, we are going to use the stomp animation here and that's just so it's nice and big and shrinks onto the page just on enter. But I then want it to move off the page and if I want it to move off the page, it can you can't use create an animation and other animations at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten the timeline that it appears to just about 1.5. If I drag that timeline back, you can see it. I'm going to copy and paste another one exactly on the top and I'm going to remove the animation. I'm going to drag it so that it appears just as the other one has fallen into place. Now that we have this second ghost, we want to have it appearing off the page. So we're going to go up to animate. I'm going to go to create an animation. And the same as we did before, but this time we're going to go up the way. We're going to hold down shift and go straight off the top of the page. 
and I'm just again going to put this on to steady so that it's a smooth motion and I'm also going to speed it up a little bit and I'm just going to watch my timing so if I play that you can see there's a slight overlap and I just need to edit this timing so that they both align with each other and then I don't have any of the two ghosts crossing over with each other. Next we have this cute little ghost yeah, and again we're going to use a create animation here because we want to have this little guy flying across the page and swirling round like ghosts do. So we're going to go to animate, create an animation and this time I'm not going to hold down shift because I want it to be more free-flowing like so and I don't want it to happen at the same time as the black ghost so I'm going to just change the timeline a little bit here and also I'm going to one make them steady but I'm going to click this button on orient element to path and what this does is it makes them flip round which is much more like this ghost does and I'm going to make them a bit faster as well oh that's too fast and sometimes you just need to mess about with these speeds till you get it going the speed you want that's perfect and this time just reduce them down so he's not one for as long now I don't want him sitting right at the front layer so I'm going to go to position and I'm going to move him so he sits behind the graveyard section of this design so you're only going to see him when he flies out from behind the graveyard images next going to search for scary pumpkin I'm going to my graphics and I'm going to narrow down my search by just going to animated because I only want to see the ones who've got a little bit of movement in them and I really like this first one here so I'm going to grab that one here so you can see this little guy's already got quite a bit of movement to him already and I don't really want him appearing right from the start so I'm going to zoom in a little bit so he's just on for about five seconds or so I'm going to give him a little tumble animation. Tumble's not one I get to use a lot, but I do like this one. Um, and I think it fits for the pumpkin because when I'm flying and I'm flying off the edge, I'm going to have an on, animate on both because I do want him to disappear off the page at the end of the, his time on the page. And I'm going to add a little wiggle too but I don't want him to wiggle that much so I'm just going to give him a slight wiggle and I don't want him sitting right at the very front so I'm going to move him so he is behind the graveyard um, animation as well and I'll just move him slightly up so you can see him a little bit more so now when I play this through you can see the animation is already starting to come together with just those few elements on the page and I can start bringing in a little bit more animations. I'm going to go back into elements and while it's one of the animated ones only I'm going to type in bats and right at the top here you can see we've got some moving bats so I'm going to use all three of these and I'm going to shrink them down and then these two wee ones here. So I'm going to start off with this one and again just having in for the start of the animation this one can fly around about here and have those overlapping slightly and then these wee guys will be around here I'm going to add in a little pop both on enter and exit and I'm going to make them all the same so there's some continuity with them another element I've added is our big bright moon and this is called full moon glowing if you want to find it in the elements library again I'm going to add a little bit of movement to this moon panning across in the background and it gives a light subtle effect because the skyline and the graveyard is all moving as well so we're going to animate and create animation and again hold down shift but we're just going to move it slowly across to the other side of the page again we're going to make it steady and I'm going to slow this down. We just need to move it behind a few of the layers so it's now behind the trees. As well as it moving across, I'm going to give it a slight pulse. Now this is far too big a pulse so we can just 
double click and we can reduce the intensity right down but we're just going to keep on building on top of that and this is the great things you can do in Canva you can really build up the layers if you want to find out even more animation techniques and how you can use these in your business or your own creativity I do have the Animation Academy where I have 10 jam-packed step-by-step tutorials as well as the Canva templates you can find out more details in my pin comment so if I go to videos in the search and I go into type witch cauldron and we'll see one here which I want to use which has a nice clean background that I can remove so I'm going to add it in and I'm just going to use a background remover on this so now we can see we have a video but we've removed the background so we can just use the cauldron on its own let's enlarge that up a little and set it in the bottom left hand corner and again I'm going to just have this appear after a couple of seconds and we'll add a little animation and I think we're going to have this tumble in on enter so that and I'm just slowing that right down so we can see that cauldron appearing on the screen next I want to add in this witch and I'm going to have this sitting in front of the yellow moon so you can see it against the background and I'm going to animate it I'm going to have this come on with the succession effect and I'm also going to add a little wiggle to look like it's flying through the sky and we just intensity a little and we don't want it appearing before the moon is behind it so I'm going to again adjust the timeline so that it's only appearing once the moon is almost reached as you can see there it appears once it's over there and again I want to just have it sitting behind the trees so you can just see the rich but it's not right at the front view. So it's getting quite complex and it's building up quite a lot of details. Now I want to add in our text. I'm going to go back into elements. I'm going to type happy Halloween text. Already so many lovely Halloween elements in here without me having to scroll through all of the text library. And then once I find one that I really like, I'm going to place it on the screen. I'm going to change the colour to this bright lime green and I'm going to animate it and I'm going to have it blooding on and I'm also going to give it a little flicker I'm going to just intensity down and again I don't want this to appear over the whole of the animation so I'm going to have this coming in halfway through as well and I am going to keep this on the front layer so that you can see it clearly and we still have more layers to add here we've still got our smoke that's happening in the background and we have all our little demons to add at the bottom with the glowing eyes now I'm just going to grab this ghost element because I'm going to reuse this wee guy and whenever we copy and paste I have to make sure I remove the animation so I'm going to delete that path enlarge this up first of all and then again I'll search elements for glowing eyes narrow down the search by making it just the animated ones and you can see here I'm going to pick these red ones because they're going to show up really nicely against the black ghost and I'm going to copy it another three times so that I've got four different ones then I'm going to move them into place just reduce these a little so I'm going to add baseline and I want this wee guy to come in quite near the end and each of the eyes are just going to appear just after the ghost is slid in now if you can't quite grab it because there's too many layers if you go into position and find your layers then you can select exactly the one you need now to really make this Halloween animation look really really spooky we have to add some mist so we're going to go into videos and we're going to type in white mist and you can see there's lots and lots of samples here but now I have chose two videos that have really really strong dark backgrounds and then the white mist so that we can see the mist once we remove their backgrounds and we're going to have one sit as the very front layer 
but it's far too long in length. The videos are like 30 seconds long, so now you can see it's increased the length of our video to 36 seconds. So I'm just going to drag the main timeline back down to 10 seconds so that it reduces the length of our overall animation. And then the second smoke layer, I am going to move so that it sits behind the graveyard. And this just helps layer up our animation and our design. If I just click on play and play it on through, you can really see how all these layers of out all come together. It's just using a single page animation. All we have done is use the create an animation tools within Canva and timed the timings of the animation appearing in and out to give you this really complex layered animation effect. If you enjoyed that tutorial then do make sure you check out my channel because I have lots more animation tutorials on there as well as branding and design tips.